What the fuck just happened? Is probably what everyone was thinking in 2002 when the defending World Cup champions France were kicked out of the group stages without even scoring a single goal. And it's not like they had a very hard group. They were drawn with Senegal, Denmark and Uruguay. To be honest, the stage was set for them to take the glory once again. And to make matters worse, France ended up dead last of their group. And remember, this is a team with players like Zidane, Thierry Henry, Marcel Desailly and so on. Marcel Desailly said after the tournament, it's really something terrible because it doesn't happen that the world champions go out in the very first round. We still have the best players, but something was broken in the machine. Indeed, something was broken in the machine. It looked like the team that once was the best in the world had been struck with some kind of curse. And ever since then, this curse has contaminated a majority of World Cup winning teams. Remember the 2006 World Cup? France had a very good run that year, but ended up losing to Italy on penalties. Everything was looking good for the Azzurri. But then came around the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. Italy was said to have one of the easiest groups in the entire tournament. Paraguay, Slovakia and New Zealand were their rivals that year. But what happened to Italy left everyone with utmost shock. Italy was knocked out of the group without even winning a single game. This was against some of the lowest ranking teams in the world. They even lost 3-2 to Slovakia, who was playing their very first World Cup. This was like watching Muhammad Ali getting beaten by Jake Paul. Absolutely embarrassing. But what happened to the winners of that same World Cup will shock you even more. If you watched our last few videos, you definitely know that Spain ended up winning the World Cup in 2010 with one of the best international teams ever. A sensational goal by Iniesta with only four minutes left on the clock. Incredible. And this was the same team that won the Euros in 2008 and 2012. They were unstoppable. Or so we thought. Because when the 2014 World Cup rolled around, Spain shocked us all. Spain's group was not the easiest one, I'll give them that. They had Chile, Australia and the Netherlands to contend with. But still, the expected result was for Spain and the Netherlands to qualify. But the curse struck once again, and Spain was kicked out of the group stage after a humiliating first match against the Netherlands, where they ended up losing 5-1. At this point, more and more people started noticing the pattern, and the World Cup curse was starting to gain a reputation. But one nation proved this curse wasn't just some random coincidence. Remember the German team back in 2014? What a team that was. They dominated the tournament and destroyed absolutely everyone who was in their way, with their toughest game coming from Ghana in the group stage, a game that ended 2-2. Their best performance came against Brazil, where they decimated the Samba boys by seven goals to zero. Germany won the World Cup when Mario Goetze scored a last minute goal against Argentina. Fast forward four years and Germany were in Russia. Their group was an easy one. Sweden, South Korea and Mexico. Shouldn't be too hard for a team that beat Brazil by six goals. Germany's first game was disappointing. Mexico scored the first goal after which Germany switched on and took the party to Mexico's doorstep. But the Mexican keeper, Guillermo Ochoa, stepped up and had one of the best performances of his career. Seriously, it was as if he had drunk some kind of special potion that gave him extra strength. Germany won the next match against Sweden, but their final match against South Korea was the most painful of them all. Germany decided to go full attacking mode in the last minutes of the game, leaving them completely open behind. South Korea saw the opportunity, lubed themselves up nicely and went right in. They scored twice in stoppage time and once again Germany was eliminated. Now the World Cup is ongoing in Qatar and all eyes are on France. The question right now is, is the World Cup curse actually real? Is there some kind of supernatural reason why previous World Cup winners do so poorly in the tournament right after? Well, the answer is quite simple, but might surprise you a little bit. It turns out the curse is real, but also isn't. Stick with me for a second. Let me explain. 
You see, the World Cup curse may have started as a joke, but as time went on, people started believing in them and this creates some kind of psychological effect. The belief in the curse creates a self-fulfilling prophecy that causes people to believe that there is some kind of curse at work. Psychologists have also said that a lot of people believe in curses because they try to put meaning to events that have already happened. We look for evidence to affirm what we already believe is going to happen. This explains other curses in football, like the Drake curse. Shall I make a video about it? Let me know, guys. But all of this only applies to the fans, right? Or are the players actually under some sort of curse after winning the trophy? Well, who knows? Some of them might be, but if we're realistic, the explanation for players is actually quite obvious. Age. When a team wins the World Cup, the players are significantly older when they have to play the next one four years later. And we all know four years can make a massive difference in football. Just look at Messi and Ronaldo four years ago. They just can't perform at the same level they used to. But still, it's one thing to get kicked out of the World Cup after putting up a fight and another thing to leave in the group stage without winning a match or even scoring a goal. So what exactly goes wrong with these players? Well, the best explanation might just be that defending the World Cup or any championship title is just insanely hard. When you win the World Cup once, the whole world is watching you. The fans put a lot of pressure on the players and the coach to win the cup again, as it now feels much easier to obtain. Sponsors pour a lot of money into the team because they're the favorites. This amount of pressure will take a toll, even on the toughest players. The amount of drive and hunger and willingness to suffer to win the World Cup is unthinkable, said Jürgen Klinsmann, a German manager. There was research done in 1993 by Kathy Kreiner Phillips and Terry Orlick of the University of Ottawa called Winning After Winning, The Psychology of Ongoing Excellence. The research showed just how hard it is for athletes to perform on the same level after winning a championship. With the World Cup being the biggest sporting event in the world, the pressure on the players must be absolutely unlivable. But let me know what you think. Will France prove this whole video wrong? I mean, sure, they are now qualified for the round of 16, so they broke the first part of the curse. But to all my French fans, I wouldn't celebrate too early. I've got a feeling the curse isn't quite over yet.